surprise move. A Metro Detroit oncologist has pled guilty to 16 counts of health care fraud. You may remember his name, Dr. Fareed Fada. There's his face. He was scheduled to go on trial next month for intentionally misdiagnosing patients with cancer so he could bilk Medicare for unnecessary treatments. The 48-year-old has a long list of victims. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards spoke with two of them tonight and brings us their story. Tara. Well, Glenda, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, some of those victims and the U.S. attorney will be meeting about what's next and what goes on from here. But today, some of them say they did not get any answers. But see, there'll be no victim impact statements. There'll be none of the real horror that people went through. For Karen Baldwin, there is no real closure or victory after hearing Dr. Fada pled guilty to 16 of more than 20 counts in federal court. Her husband was under the cancer doctor's care and died in 2006. The doctor admitted to a number of health care fraud and money laundering charges, as well as one kickback count. So he's going to go to a cupcake federal prison for white collar crime. Dr. Fana was indicted a year ago for intentionally misdiagnosing patients and administering high doses of chemotherapy to many of them. Since then, hundreds of victims have come forward. Karen, along with Liz Lupo, whose mother was also being treated for cancer by Dr. Fada and died in 2007, both feel deprived. There will be no trial. But they also aren't sure whether they would get any answers. He has no conscience. It doesn't matter. He can look in our faces. Hell, he looked in our faces when our loved ones were dying. I'm curious to understand why they can't charge him with murder. If he's admitting, I knowingly administer these drugs. Well, U.S. Attorney Barb McQuaid tells me there is just not enough evidence to charge him with murder. This is far from over. She is pushing for life in prison for Dr. Fada. Meanwhile, Liz Lupo believes he isn't the only one guilty of a crime here. Yes, we know all these other people um, did it as well and helped him. You can't do this alone. He didn't administer the drugs. And the U.S. attorney says that they'll wait to see what happens at sentencing to decide whether they'll go forward with a trial with the rest of those counts. His sentencing will take place in February. Live at the federal courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.